How's it going? Centerpoint Securities here bringing you another tip video using the DOS trading platform. Today we're going to be taking a little closer look at the market view window down here. This is where you're going to want to load any of the securities, any stocks that you want to watch change throughout the day. You can see a couple of the symbols that we have loaded here. Um, notice that when I select on one, it'll highlight that row and automatically load it into my montage as well as my chart. I'll go ahead and show you that again. So for example, if I select Google, you can see Google load here as well as my chart. Um, if it doesn't do that for you automatically, just go ahead and make sure these windows are linked using this link key. Go ahead and select the anchor and drag it over to this window. That will allow you to select one of these and have it load automatically at the same time. Um, so you can edit this to however you'd like um, by selecting on a new row and just typing in a new symbol. You can get those loaded there. I'll just down arrow to the next uh, next row here and type in another one. You can see um, how I can edit this to however I'd like. To get rid of some of these, I can just select a row and right click and go down to delete. Um, I can delete this. You can edit that to however you'd like to look. Um, if you go ahead and select on one of these rows, so say I go to the last price and this arrow, I can change it to high to low or low to high. Um, I can go to open, do the same thing, high to low, low to high. So it's pretty much um, uh, customizable to your liking. Um, also by right clicking, you can go to configure. This is where you're going to want to change any of the colors for uh, that window, you can change the uptick and downtick colors, background colors. You can add columns over here. So say, for example, I wanted to get rid of a uh, previous close column, but I wanted to add high and low prices. I can go do that there. I'll click Commit, and now you can see that those are added to the columns over here. Um, if I want to change this around, so say I wanted the tick to be first and change to be next, I'll right-click, go to Configure, and I'll just go ahead and go to change here and move it down one. So now you can see it's going to go in order from symbol to tick to change to last and so on. I'll go ahead and click commit and you can see that there. Also by right clicking down here you can go to view top list and now I can see different um, changes for this. So NASDAQ actives. You can see the most active on NASDAQ. You can go down here, view top list, and see the biggest losers, biggest gainers, different things like that. To get back to your own customized list, just go to user define list, and you can have that popped up there. Um, so that's pretty much it for the market viewer. I hope this was a useful video, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.